Hi, I'm Angel with FleeceFun.com and Shannon Fabrics. Today I'm going to show you how to make this cute towel wrap. For this project, you will need the following. For this project, you will need Cuddle Terry. The amount will vary depending upon the measurements. In the example, it was two-thirds of a yard. Cuddle Fabric. Again, the amount will vary depending on the measurements. For my daughter's wrap, it was less than an eighth of a yard. Thread, preferably contrasting with the terry cloth so it's easy to unpick if you need to. 10 inches of 1 inch elastic, walking foot, velcro, a small plate, a glass, rotary cutter, ruler and mat, and scissors. Alright, once you have all those elements, it's time to get started. You'll need the following measurements to make this wrap. The chest measurement. Chest measurement should be high on the chest. Length. Measure from approximately the place of the chest measurement to where you want the wrap to fall. I recommend just above the knee. All right, now that you have all these measurements, it's time to move on to the next step. Next, you'll need to calculate the dimensions of the wrap. To do that, we're gonna do some basic math. Take the chest measurement and add six inches. So for my little girl, she has a chest measurement of 20 plus six. The width of the wrap will be 26 inches. For the length, it will be the length plus one and a half inches. So again, my little girl had a length of 18 and a half plus one and a half, which is 20. So the final dimensions for my terry cloth will be 26 inches by 20 inches. So using the dimensions above, we'll need to calculate the total length, which is two lengths, and width, which is two widths, to equal the amount of cuddle. For my daughter's towel, that's 26 plus 26 plus 20 plus 20 equals 92. I need a 2 inch strip that is 92 inches plus 3 for overlap. Since cuddle is typically 58 inches wide, 60 minus the salvage, I know that I will need to cut at least 2 2 inch strips to, and join them together to be 116 inches long. Perfect for covering the towel and less than an eighth of a yard. Alright, now that you have all these measurements, it's time to cut out your cloth to the right dimensions. One step that is extremely important before you begin is you need to wash and dry your terry cloth. Um, it's, it will shrink in the wash, and it's very important that you do that, especially since cuddle fabric does not shrink, and that's what we're binding it with. So if you bind something that doesn't shrink with something that does shrink before you've actually shrunk it in the wash, it can have disastrous results, and I don't want you to have that. So please be sure to wash and dry your terry cloth before you begin your project. I normally just throw it in the wash, I don't even finish the ends. If you're worried about it unraveling too much in your washer, um, just zigzag stitch along the ends to kind of minimize fraying, but you need to wash and dry it before you begin. Cut the terry to the dimensions you calculated. To give the wrap a little styling, we're going to make the corners curved. Place a small plate on the bottom corners of the wrap and cut out the corners to make the curve. Repeat on the top using the glass for a smaller curve then set aside. Now cut the two inch lengths of cuddle terry that you calculated. I'm not going to give you an in-depth tutorial on how to bind it as I actually have this video right here that can show you in depth about binding fabric and I actually use terry cloth in this example. So you can click on this video and view it here and then come back to this tutorial to finish up. Terry cloth unravels, so the edges must be finished properly. We're going to use cuddle cloth as a binding, using an old machine binding trick. Please watch the video tutorial to show you detailed instructions on how to do this. All right, now that your terry cloth is bound, it's time to move on to the next step. Turn the top of the wrap down one and a quarter inches, pin. Fold the towel in half and mark the center with a pin, then unfold and lay out.
take your length of elastic and center it under the center pin. Measure 2 inches out from the elastic on each side and mark with a pin. This will be the casing for the elastic. Now normally when you do a casing you just sew all the way across but because we're adding elastic just in the middle of the towel we're going to do it a little bit differently. Using a walking foot, sew along the edges of the binding between the two pins that you just marked. Do not sew down the rest of the casing. Next, place a safety pin on the end of the elastic. Thread elastic into the casing. Line up the end of the elastic, the one without the pin, with the end of the sewn casing. With the elastic sandwich between the terry cloth, sew down the edge of the elastic. Next, using the safety pin, pull the elastic through the casing to the other side. Fabric should begin to gather and stretch as you do this. Pulling the elastic taut and making sure that the end of the safety pin is out of the way, sew down the other side of the elastic at the other end of the casing you just made. Now you can finish sewing down the casing on either side of the elastic. All right, looking good. Keep going. Cut three to five inches of Velcro for a girl. You will need it to determine the length that you want. Place the hook side of the Velcro on the inside left of the wrap, pin in place. Next, place the loop on the outside right of the wrap. This is important that you understand it is the outside right of the wrap and not the inside. Pin into place. Sew down, trim your threads, and you're finished. If you like this tutorial, I have several others on my website, fleecefun.com, that I know you'll enjoy. All my patterns and tutorials are free. Also, I have great recipes and craft ideas on there as well. Also, please be sure to check out my YouTube channel. I have over 80 tutorials on there to help you out making cute sewing projects and a couple others as well. Have a great day. Remember, velvet is pretentious. Fleece is fun.